Kanye West's Yeezy is in big trouble with Adidas. Adidas is split with Kanye West, an inability to sell his popular Yeezy line of shoes harmed earnings at the end of last year, resulting in a net loss of $540 million. In this video, we will take a look at why Kanye West's Yeezy is in big trouble with Adidas. The fourth quarter deficit, which can also be ascribed to increasing supplier costs and declining revenue in China, contrasts with a profit of 213 million euros in the same period last year, according to the German shoe and sportswear producer. Adidas wants to recycle unsold Yeezy merchandise. Here are some of its alternatives. More losses are possible as the company anticipates a 500 million euro damage to earnings this year if it does not repurpose the remaining Yeezy products in stock. The corporation anticipates a 700 million euro operational loss in 2023. Adidas severed ties with Ye in October after the rapper made anti-Semitic slurs on social media and in interviews, putting pressure on other firms to do the same. The company is now attempting to replace its flagship Yeezy line, which analysts estimate accounts for up to 15% of its net income. According to CEO Bjorn Gulden, 2023 will be a transition year, and we can then begin to build a profitable business again in 2024. Fourth quarter net sales increased by only 1.3% to 5.21 billion euros from the same period last year, despite a 600 million euro revenue loss due to the decision to end the relationship with Ye. The company also reported a 50% decline in revenue in China, as well as greater expenses for materials and shipping that could not be compensated by higher prices. The Herzogenrach, Germany-based corporation, reported a net profit of 638 million euros for the whole year on revenues that increased 6% to 22.5 billion euros. The corporation also announced the replacement of its top sales and marketing executives. Roland Arschel, the company's global sales leader, will retire after 33 years and be succeeded by Arthur Holt, the company's new president of Europe, the Middle East, and Africa. Kanye West's controversial public persona has played a significant role in the troubles faced by Yeezy. Over the years, the rapper has made headlines for his erratic behavior, political affiliations, and controversial statements. While Kanye's outspoken nature and boundary-pushing creativity initially added to the allure of the Yeezy brand, it has also alienated a portion of the brand's potential customer base. Consumers today are increasingly conscious of the brands they associate with and the values they embody. Kanye West's polarizing actions and statements have led to a division among consumers, with some distancing themselves from the Yeezy brand due to their disagreements with his behavior or beliefs. This divisive effect has translated into a decline in consumer support and loyalty, impacting the overall success of the Yeezy Adidas partnership. While Yeezy initially stood out with its unique aesthetic and Kanye celebrity status, several competitors have emerged, vying for consumer attention and market share. Brands such as Nike, Jordan Brand, and other high-profile collaborations have gained traction, offering alternative options to sneaker enthusiasts. Adidas, as Yeezy's partner, faces the challenging of maintaining Yeezy's relevance amidst stiff competition. With numerous brands constantly releasing new designs and collaborations, it becomes increasingly difficult for Yeezy to captivate consumers and retain their loyalty. The market is ever-evolving and brands must continue to innovate and adapt to stay ahead. Failure to do so can result in a decline in sales and market relevance, which Yeezy is currently experiencing. While Yeezy initially gained popularity for its innovative designs, there has been a noticeable decline in the brand's creativity and originality in recent releases. Many sneaker enthusiasts and fashion critics argue that Yeezy's designs have become repetitive and lack the groundbreaking appeal they once had. This lack of fresh and innovative designs has resulted in diminished excitement and interest among consumers, leading to a decline in sales. To regain its former glory, Yeezy needs to reinvigorate its design aesthetic and introduce truly innovative and captivating styles that resonate with consumers. Over the years, there have been numerous reports of manufacturing defects and inconsistencies in Yeezy products. From glue stains to stitching issues, these quality control problems have affected the brand's reputation for producing premium and well-crafted footwear. In a market where consumers are willing to pay a premium for high-quality sneakers, Yeezy's failure to address these issues has led to a loss of trust and confidence among its customer base. To restore faith in the brand, Yeezy and Adidas must prioritize rigorous quality control measures and ensure that every product meets the highest standards of craftsmanship. Yeezy's retail strategy and distribution model have faced criticism and challenges, contributing to its current predicament. Initially, Yeezy adopted a limited release strategy, creating scarcity and driving up demand. However, this approach has faced backlash from consumers who were unable to purchase their desired Yeezy products due to limited availability. 
Additionally, Yeezy's distribution model, primarily relying on exclusive partnerships and limited retail locations, has made it difficult for consumers to access the brand's products. While exclusivity can be a powerful marketing tool, it needs to be balanced with accessibility to maximize sales potential. Yeezy's failure to strike this balance has resulted in missed sales opportunities and frustrated consumers. To overcome these challenges, Yeezy and Adidas need to reconsider their retail strategy, explore wider distribution channels, and ensure a smoother purchasing experience for their customers. And with that being said, it's time to end our video. Subscribe to the channel for more amazing videos like this. We'll see you with another interesting video.